Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I have something incredibly exciting to share with you. A capstone project that blends the world of gaming and artificial intelligence called Space Odyssey. I have developed a monster shooting game that's not only entertaining but also showcases the power of AI. But here's the twist. I have built it using Pictoblocks, a fantastic programming platform for beginners and creative minds alike. Now let's get started. The game starts by asking the player to input their name. Gobo, our friendly sprite, will greet you by name with a special message to make you feel right at home. Keep your eyes peeled as monsters will rain down randomly from the space. Take charge of a powerful rocket ship that you can maneuver left and right. Your mission? Target those falling monsters. Use your rocket ship firepower to shoot the monsters out of the space. Each successful hit earns you a point. But be careful, if you miss a monster, you will lose one of your three lives. Can you protect your rocket ship and make it through the game? So gear up, take aim and join us in the monster shooting game. How many monsters can you blast before running out of lives? Let's find out. Hi guys, as you can see, uh, we are here at the coding part of this game. So let me introduce the sprite first. So I've used aim, uh, monster, heart, uh, a button, a rocket, and a sprite called Gobo. These are the sprites that I've used in my game. And basically, uh, the game, when it starts, Gobo will ask us to enter our name or the player's name. So once we enter our name, Gobo will uh, greet, uh, telling us uh, hi, uh, uh, using our name. And then uh, it will say, uh, display a message saying that let's start the game. So during the game uh, play, when the game starts, uh, monster will appear randomly at this any of this area. And then once the monster appear randomly it will uh, drastically move down towards the bottom and then uh, our aim is to uh, use the rocket to kill the monster before the uh, monster reaches the bottom so if let's say the monster managed to reach at the bottom or passes by the rocket ship we will lose one life uh, and then uh, each player will have only three lives so when we lose all three lives the game will display game over so the game is over and then we have to try again or play again so the main motive is to to reach uh, to get as many points as we uh, can uh, before we run out the run out of the lives okay so now let's look at the coding and as you can see uh, uh, for Gobo, uh, I have used uh, music background music uh, during the gameplay. Uh, drive around music will be played during throughout the gameplay. And then heart, I have uh, only shown uh, during the gameplay. And then every time when the player loses heart, each heart will disappear one by one. And then for monster, we have a very long code. Basically, uh, 
the monster will display at a random area of the uh, space here and then once it uh, appears it will move uh, change its coordinate and then uh, to move down at the speed of minus six coordinate each second and then after that um, we will uh, keep track of our score every time we kill the monster so we will get one point and for the rocket shape rocket shape uh, rocket will uh, move according to my mouse so that uh, we can kill the monster okay guys so basically this is my code and um, as you saw just now that is how the game uh, is played thank you guys thank you for watching my video again and i see you on next video Hello friends, I am Jay Ramesh Jayaram. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Stampedia for organizing such a wonderful bootcamp. My journey participating in this bootcamp has been wonderful. Therefore, I am sharing some of the greatest work or things that I have learned in this bootcamp. Thank you for watching guys and also thank you Stampedia, you guys are awesome.